The Chinese plan another super project, which will build a space power station in space, which can be used by human beings for 100,000 years. Let's take a closer look in this video. Recently, China has stopped keeping a low profile and has proposed a major subversive super project. If this project can be successfully completed, it means that energy will no longer be a problem for the entire world. And China's super project on paper is a space power station. According to expert estimates, once the plan is successful, it can be used by humans for 100,000 years. At that time, fossil energy power generation will be completely replaced, which means that China will once again lead the world in another technology. Imagine a solar power station floating in space, continuously delivering energy to the Earth. This scene sounds a bit sci-fi, but judging from the current construction status, China has entered the second stage, and this sci-fi scene is likely to become a reality. Hearing this news, the Americans panicked completely. After all, it was originally their idea, but now it has been fulfilled by China. So how powerful is this space power station? What is the significance of the space power station after it is completed? As the master of the Earth, human civilization has a history of thousands of years. But if the age of the Earth is 24 hours, then human beings are less than 0.2 seconds of the Earth's history. But the speed of development of human civilization is unimaginably fast. From farming civilization to the industrial revolution, from the electrical age to the information age, the explosive development of science and technology has been promoting the progress of civilization. But the Earth's limited energy resources have always been an obstacle to human progress. From coal to oil, from wind power to hydropower, human beings have been looking for a once and for all solution. At present, the ultimate energy solution proposed by the scientific community is nothing more than controllable nuclear fusion and efficient utilization of solar energy. Among these two solutions, compared with the controllable nuclear fusion with high technical investment, the efficient utilization of solar energy undoubtedly has obvious advantages. Although the idea of a space power station looks like science fiction, researchers in many countries are thinking about how to realize it because the prospect is so attractive. In fact, as early as 1968, American scientist Peter Glazer first proposed the idea of a space power station. Build a solar power station on a straight track 36,000 kilometers above the ground, where countless huge solar panels are deployed to convert sunlight into electricity. Then the collected electrical energy is converted into radio microwaves and sent to the receiving antenna on the Earth. Microwaves are converted into electricity after being received on the ground and sent to thousands of households. With the outbreak of the global oil crisis, the idea of space power stations is particularly attractive. Therefore, the United States took the lead in proposing the space power station plan, planning to spend 250 billion US dollars to build a space solar power station. But the ideal is very full and the reality is very skinny. The space power station planned by Glazer weighs 50,000 tons. The solar panel deployment area is as high as 500,000 square kilometers. And the microwave wires that transmit electricity to the Earth have a diameter of one kilometer. To send the equipment of the space power station to the sky, the space shuttle needs to launch back and forth at least 1,000 times. Whether it is technology or cost, the requirements of space power stations are far beyond reality. So this plan was also shelved. But the ideal is not out of reach. 
In recent years, the technology related to space power generation has made great progress. For example, SpaceX's reusable rocket technology has reduced the cost of rocket launches. The performance of solar cells has improved, and the conversion rate of sunlight has increased to more than 20%. And the materials used to build space power stations are getting lighter and lighter. So the construction of the space power station has been put on the agenda again. In 2011, the United States proposed a space power station model again using a sandwich structure, and all electronic components are sandwiched by two square solar panels to form a solar panel that receives sunlight. The middle part is converted into radio waves, and the energy is transmitted to the Earth through the base plate antenna. Although the difficulty of this design exceeds five stars, the United States still plans to build a space power station in 2050. After the launch of the U.S. Space Power Station program, Japan followed up on the track for the construction of space power stations. In 1990, Japan also proposed a space power station plan, imagining sending a solar power generation satellite into an orbit 1,100 kilometers above the ground, and named the satellite SPS-2000. The satellite is in the shape of a regular triangular column, with solar panels on the front and an antenna that emits microwaves to the ground on the other side. However, because the satellite is in a low orbit, the received power can only be sent to areas near the equator, which is also an attempt to build a large space power station. However, this attempt also requires a budget of 240 billion yen, so SPS-2000 has never been put on the launch schedule. Of course, in this space race, China has not fallen behind. In 2019, China launched the daily project, the full name is the Space Solar Power Plant System Project, to carry out space solar power plant research and ground demonstration work, and carry out key technology on orbit verification on the Sky Space Station. China's plan for space solar power plants is three small steps and two big steps. The three small steps are ground floating test, space power management, and space to earth limitless energy transmission test. The two major steps are to conduct MW level system test verification and build GW level commercial power stations. The medium term planning of the project is from 2015 to 2030, and the long term planning is from 2030 to 2050. Objectively speaking, if this project can achieve a technological breakthrough, it will be comparable to the progress of achieving controllable nuclear fusion. Not only can it solve the problem of carbon emissions, but it will also greatly solve the problem of human beings using energy. Therefore, many people even call it the Three Gorges Project in space. So what are the advantages of space power generation technology? And obviously the solar energy on the ground has not been fully utilized. Why is it suddenly focused on the solar energy in space? In fact, by the time sunlight hits Earth, a large portion has already been consumed in space. The Earth's atmosphere also has a strong reflection effect on sunlight and nearly 60% of solar energy is lost in atmospheric reflection. This results in very little surface solar efficiency available to humans. Compared with solar power plants on the Earth's surface, space power plants can receive most of the sunlight, and there is no difference between day and night. The space power station operating in orbit can adjust its posture, like a sunflower, always maintain an angle facing the sun, and receive solar energy 24 hours a day without dead ends. In addition, due to the limitations of various terrain conditions, the receiving area of solar panels on the Earth will definitely be affected. Theoretically, in space, the receiving panels of solar power plants can be infinitely large, 
and can even block part of the sunlight, thereby alleviating global warming. The most important thing is that space solar power plants will not be restricted by region, and UHV can be transmitted across regions to power poor areas for long distances without power grid transmission, and it will not be affected by the Earth's climate change. And we all know that China has a vast territory, a large population, and resource constraints, and power dispatching has always been an urgent problem in China. China has spent countless funds erecting thousands of kilometers of UHV transmission lines, which are not only expensive to build but also expensive to maintain. It is also vulnerable to environmental hazards such as earthquakes and snowstorms. At present, China's fossil energy power generation still accounts for more than 50% of the total power generation, but this power generation method will not only be subject to geographical restrictions, but also cause adverse effects on the environment. Therefore, China will spare no effort to study space power stations. Once the space power station is realized, it will not only completely solve China's energy problems, but also be of great significance to meteorological research, disaster emergency response, aerospace, and other fields. Finally, going back to the beginning of the 20th century, China did not even have the most basic photovoltaic power generation industry, and could not produce monocrystalline silicon wafers and polycrystalline silicon wafers required for solar lithium batteries. The core technology of the photovoltaic industry has been monopolized by the United States and other Western countries. At that time, monocrystalline silicon and polycrystalline silicon were directly fired by the United States from about 30 US dollars per kilogram to more than 500 US dollars. They took advantage of the technological blockade to harvest round after round of leaks. It was not until 2013 that China built a complete photovoltaic industry chain. The national team led the research and development of crystalline silicon high-efficiency batteries and achieved the world's largest production capacity within one year, directly defeating photovoltaic companies in Western countries. Now China is the first to launch a space solar power plant, and many Western countries can't wait to invest in research. We can clearly see their fear. In this technology, China has already taken the lead. As long as China keeps its feet on the ground and forges ahead, it will definitely be at the forefront of the world. Today, China's space station has impressed the world. In the next step, China's space power station will surely become the main force of the Earth's energy. China's aerospace technology has never stopped because the Chinese people's goal is the stars and the sea. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.